Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to find area between curves. So let's take a look at this problem. We want to find the area bounded by the curves f of x and g of x. So here, f of x is this function, which is 5x minus x squared. Now that's a parabola facing downward. And this one right here, well, that's just the line passing through the origin. So let's go ahead and graph these functions. Graphing is not necessary, but it is nice to have an idea how the graph looks like. So here's our xy plane, and we want to graph f and g. So if you were to find the x-intercepts for f of x, so we're going to set f of x to 0, you'll have 5x minus x squared equal to 0. Factor out an x, you'll have 5 uh, minus x gives you 0 which means x equals zero and x equals five. So these are the x-intercepts. So that means the function goes through here and let's suppose this is five. So it will look something like this. So not the best picture, but hopefully you get an idea of how to sketch this function. So it's just a parabola facing downward. So this is f of x. Now g of x, it's uh, 2x, so that means it's just a line passing through the origin. So it's going to look something like this. So this is our g of x. So the region they both bound, it's this region right here. So that's the region we're looking for the area of. And you see there is an intersection here and here. So you can see the one place they both pass through is zero. So we just need to find what this point is. So let's go ahead and find that. So the way you're gonna find intersection of two curves is by simply setting them equal to each other. So let's go ahead and find their intersections. So we're going to um, set f of x equals to g of x. So f of x, we know that's five x minus x squared and g of x is two x. Now you're gonna move everything to where x squared is positive. So I'm just gonna move both of these terms to the right side. So that will give us zero equals, you add x squared, then you subtract five x, so negative five x and two x, that's negative three x. And then when you factor out an x, you get x minus three equals to zero, which means they intersect at zero and at three. So zero, we already know it's right here. And this point that we didn't get to find before, now we know this is three. So the region we're gonna integrate is from zero to three. So our area of that bounded region is the integral from a to b of the top function minus the bottom function. So that's how I like to think about the formula, but you can use um, whichever way you wanna remember them. So now let's figure out what is the top function here. So our tough function, so imagine you're creating rectangles that are vertical rectangle like this. So your tough function will always be, so going from zero to three, your top is always the one in yellow and your bottom is always the one in pink. Therefore, our tough function in the integral is going to be f of x and the bottom will be g of x. So let's go ahead and write that out. So we're integrating from zero to three, the point of intersection, the top function is f of x and the bottom is g of x, dx. So we said that the top happens to be f of x, which is five x minus x squared. Let's plug that in here. So we're integrating zero to three of five x minus x squared. And the bottom function, we see that that happens to be the line two x, so minus two x dx. And we just proceed with uh, integration. So that is the setup for finding area between curves. So let's go ahead and simplify before we integrate. So rewrite 0 to 3, the integral of, we have 5x minus x squared, drop the parentheses, minus 2x dx. And then we can continue on. We're integrating 0 to 3. Uh, so 5x and negative 2x, that's 3x minus x squared going from zero to three. Now we can integrate. So the integral of three, three x using power rule, 
that's 3x squared over 2, minus the integral of x squared, that's x cubed over 3, going from 0 to 3. So we finish integrating, and we're going to evaluate at the upper limit of the integration and the lower limit. Now let's go ahead and plug them in. So we have 3 times 3 squared over 2 minus 3 cubed over 3 minus the lower limits. When you plug in the lower limit, these into your x right here and here, they will all give you 0. So we can just say minus 0. Now let's go ahead and evaluate these numbers. So this is 3 times 3 squared, that's 9 over 2 minus 3 cubed over 3, well, that will just give you 3 squared, which is 9. So this will give us 27 over 2 minus 9. And then we can put them in common denominators. So this would be 27 minus 18 over 2. And that would give us 9 over 2. So the area of the region that both of these curves bounded is 9 over 2. Here is another example we're going to find the area of this region bounded by these curves. So here's the region, so the one in blue, this is the region we're looking at. So we're going to find the area of that blue region. Now, if you, again, think about it, we're going to create rectangles that are vertical like this. So you'll have a top curve and a minus uh, bottom curve. So imagine this, this is the rectangle, there is a top and there is a bottom. And we're going to integrate from here so these are the limit of integration from x equals zero all the way up to this line right here, x equals two. So the area bounded by these given curves, we're integrating starting at zero all the way up to x equals two. So that's the limit of integration. And now we're going to figure out what is our top curve, and then we'll figure out what the bottom curve is with respect to the x. So now since our rectangles are vertical, the top curve in this case is the one in red and the bottom curve is the one in blue. So we're integrating zero to two of the top curve, which is given to be two times e to the x minus the bottom curve, which is two x minus one dx. So that's how the integral of this looks like. Now, once you have set it up, the rest is to integrate this, so rewrite. This is the integral from zero to two to e to the x. And here I'm gonna go ahead and distribute the negative to minus two x plus one dx. And now we can integrate this. So this is equal to uh, two, the integral of two e to the x is simply two e to the x. And then the integral of this term using the power rule of integration, this is two x squared over two. So the two cancels out, it's just x squared and then integral of one respect to x, that's just x. Then we're gonna take it from zero to two. Now let's plug in the upper limit and the lower limit. So when I plug in two into all the x's, you have two e to the two minus two squared plus two, and then minus the lower limit. Now we wanna put parentheses around. So e to the zero, that's two times e to the zero minus zero squared plus zero. So that's the lower limit. Now evaluate this. This is equal to, you can use a calculator. I'll leave my answer in terms of e, that's fine. Two e to the two, two squared, that's four. So this is negative four plus two. Now for the second, the last terms, uh, this is gonna be zero. Of course, this is zero. So the only one that survives is e to the zero, which is one. So that's simply two times one. Or you can just write that as, just two since e to the zero is just one. And here now, uh, the two and negative two cancels out. All of this simplifies to two e to the two minus four. So that's the area of this given region. So here you're given the picture. We have to find the area. We constructed vertical rectangles. So you have a top curve and a bottom curve. So the area is top minus bottom. We're integrating from zero all the way up to two. The area is 2e to the 2 minus 4.